you here. I will slap you now. I think you are doing as if you don't know what you're doing. Good day. Well, huh? which house is doing magic? <laughs> you know that I said that this house is doing magic. I will slap you now. I think it's you that go and carry that thing and, and pour on that car. And you, you now do a guy tell me that I will not be washing his car again. When you scattered the parlor and told a guy that I invited my friends to come and scatter the parlor, you don't know that how I saw you. He, when I made tea for a guy, he put nonsense, he put oil, he put granola. I don't even know what he put inside. That's all looking nonsense. Did I not see you? And then you're telling me that, hey, this has something magical. First to do music pain. I think it's you that, that do that in on a motor. Is it, you it's you that do that in on a motor now? Ah, man, Ella. Ah, you're you're play playing with you now, man, Ella. You're not stand up from there. Now. Who's playing with you? Yeah, I do. I do have to assemble something. Yeah, I faint. I will slap you. You see? What, what I'll do in this house, you will see. I can't will sack you. Mark! Sir? Mark! Okay, I'm coming! Marco! Sir? You're not calling Manella that I used to do work now, you're coming now. Sorry. Hey, Mark, come here, come here, come here. What happened? What happened where? Emanuela is not feeling fine, and you both of you were in the kitchen. What happened? How do you know? How do you mean not you know? Emanuela told me that she fainted in the kitchen and you were there. You see that one? No. It's no, I'm just asking her question. She not do. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yourself. It's a play that she fainted in my house. So why did you come to tell me? This house she's going to die in this house and you say it's a, it's a, it's a play. What is wrong with you? Emanuela. Okay, hey, 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 stop that rubbish. Go upstairs and, and get money uh, uh, and buy more and milk for her so she can take and have energy. Go upstairs! This one? Go upstairs! Emanuela! Mark! <laughs> it's like we are playing, you know. <laughs> Sorry, eh? Imagine. That's how somebody will die in my house and, and, and it, 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 they say it, it, it's a joke. Will you come here and, and, and mix that thing? Look, 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 at, look at his face. Please mix that thing if I let her take it. She needs to get you, sorry. Okay, see? What? He's shivering. <laughs> mix this thing fast now. Eh? So she can take it and have uh, strength. Then we'll not know what to do. I'm just like, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give it to me. Drop it here, drop it here, drop it here. Yes. Um, Ella, you know what? You have to gradually stand up here so you can take it. Um. What rubbish? You know, help her up. Help her up also. Are you still doing here? Is it that you don't have anything tangible to do in this house? Eh? In fact, get out of this place. Go back to the gate. Go and stick to the gate! Look at his eyes. Get out of this place. You, you were there when she fainted and you say it's a play. Look, 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 look at it now. Sorry, my dear. Easy. Eh, uh, Mark. Mark. 
are you doing? Why? No, 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 no. You don't need to be doing this. You need to be, you need to be taking care of yourself and resting. Sir, you are coming with me. Mark, how dare you? Hmm? How dare you allow this, this, this sick girl wash plate? And yet you are here, you are in this house. Why? So, okay, I'm sticking to the gate. No, 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 keep quiet. You are sticking to the gate. <laughs> and so, don't you know she's sick? Eh? And you allow her to do, do all, all, all this washing. For what? Okay, she's not, she's okay. She's, she's housekeeper. Hey, shut, 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 shut up your mouth. Don't tell you the difference. You know what? Henceforth, keep sticking to the gate and also do the house chores until she gets better. That's what I want you to do. Because you, you can't be here. Why is she doing all that? Rubbish. Uh, how are you feeling now? I'm feeling better, but I want to watch cartoon. You want to watch cartoon? No problem. Just go eh? Go on the TV. Take care of yourself. Just watch cartoon, eh? Relax. We will leave that place. Let her pass. Sorry, eh? <laughs> and as for you, I don't want to ever see her do anything until she gets better. You have the, the responsibility of sweeping the house, cleaning the house, and making sure that the, the, the gate is secured. All right? All right? All right. <laughs> go, go, go. Go and wash that plate. Move it. Can you get out of this place? Rubbish. Baba? I think she's doing this play play. Who, 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 shut up. Who, who are you to decide if it's play play or not? Are you a doctor? Allow her. And do the, do, do the dishes. Hey, Oga. What is it? I think, come and see somebody that you say is not uh, feeling fine. Come see, sick person, come and see. Come and see, sick person. She's laughing. Look at that person that is sick. Yes, I've seen her. She, she's sick. Uh -huh. No, I said, let me tell you that she's still sick. <laughs> Mark, I can see you have nothing tangible to do. Eh? But you know what? I need to sweep and clean this sitting room. Rubbish. See, you have nothing else to do. Get useful. Rubbish. Oga! Okay. Just, just go. Oga! 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 What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it, Mark? She stay. She stay second. <laughs> <laughs> Mark. So, I hate this code. What do I do? Hey, so sorry, so sorry. Aga? Yeah? This sickness is doing her well, well, though. Let it not go and kill her. Seriously, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Let me go and collect money from ya. Room, let me go and buy her medicine. Okay, go. No, go, no, 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 I'm eh? legit. Come, 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 come. You say what? I'm legit to medicine. So, so, what do you want? I just want to relax and be taken care of. Okay. I want fried rice and chicken. Okay, fried rice and chicken. Okay. Um, Mark, what is it? What is it? No, 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 stop that rubbish. Go to my room and uh, get uh, money. Get her fried rice and chicken. Can you stop pointing? <laughs> get out of this place and go get that fried rice and chicken. Get out. Look at his eye and his head. Pointing hand like, 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 like you, you want to sell a land. Okay, I want cold juice. Okay, cold juice. Hey, Mark, please add cold juice to that uh, thing you're going to buy. Eh? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will you shut up. What's your problem? Sorry, are you sure what you're causing here? You, you are making me shout there by disturbing her. Get out of this place. Get out of this place! 
Don't forget to add cold juice. My friend, will you get out of this place? Sorry, sorry. Okay, don't worry. When you take it, you'll be fine, eh? Don't worry. Sorry, so sorry. So sorry. Mark! Easy. Oh. <laughs> Mark, thank God you're here. Come and carry her. Come and carry her. Go and lay her to bed. Okay, she's already fast asleep. Go and lay her to bed. Yeah. Easy, oh, easy. Carry her very well. Take her to bed, okay? Let me get something upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming! What? You think I don't know that you are not you are feeling fine? I just pretend as if you are not feeling fine. So? Yeah, yeah, do me so. I will slap you now. Yeah, you are telling me, you are telling me. I will tell you that you are doing me alone. Go ahead. I will tell him now. Um, uh, you, you, uh, Hella. You, thank God you have come. Look at, look at somebody. What's going on here? Uh, eh? We are playing. We are just playing. She is doing as if she is not feeling fine. Will you shut up your mouth? Eh? Why are you disturbing this young girl? What's your problem? I'm not. It's, we are. Be quiet! Huh? You saw that she's not feeling fine. All you need to do is, is, is to take care of her or even pamper her. Yet, yet you, you, you are disturbing her. Rubbish. Um, Ella, I hope you are okay. Mm -mm. He's disturbing me. He's disturbing you? Yes, let him go and sleep in the parlor. Oh, that's good, that's good. Oh, yeah. Mark, Halele, to the parlor. Let him not sleep in the couch, oh, unless you make their hot for me. Definitely, he will, he, will, he will not sleep on my couch. Get out. Will you stand up from there and get out of this place? Stand up. Out. Get out. It's a pillow. Drop the pillow. Ah, ah. Get out of this place. Mark! I said get out. Get out. And don't sleep on my couch. Are you hearing me? Don't sleep on my couch! Rubbish. Y young girl, you just, just be... Take care of yourself, eh? Listen, is pretend that she's pretend. Will you get out of this place? <laughs> out! <laughs> Take care of yourself, eh? Is the AC too high? Mm. Okay, eh, just cover yourself very well, okay? okay? Sleep well, okay? Okay. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Time says, and you're still sleeping. Will you stand up and, 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 and start the day, this job? Look, 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 look at his face. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm not feeling fine. <laughs> what happened now? As, as, as I slept on the ground, then uh, the corner into my body. <laughs> what is happening? Huh? Um, okay, you know what? Let me get my phone and call the doctor. Eh? No, no, no. I just have a mouth. mouth. You need the doctor. Let me get my phone. Let me get my phone. Let me get my phone. Huh? Okay. What is happening in my house? What did you just find? Let me call the doctor. Okay? It's not a fountain, fountain. What's happening in my house? Everyone just falling sick. And it, it, it's giving me reason to, to worry. You understand? I don't know why. Everybody just feeling funny, acting weird, and uh -huh. look at him. Come, 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 come. Uh, young man. Come. Come now. I'm so sorry, eh? Is, is it the one? Yes, yes, yes. Um. So tell me, how are you feeling? I tell him. Tell him. Uh, it's my body that is just shaking. Shaking. Uh, but it's not something too much. It's not so much. like a uh, cold. Uh, it's, yeah, it's cold. Is that and that I lie down on top of ground? And I start feeling cold. So sorry, so sorry. It's, no, it's not something serious, though. It's not. No, no, no. You need the injection so you feel better. No, I'm allergic to injection. No, this. 
You don't make me you need this so you feel no, better. No. It's an injection that killed my grandmother. This one's not killing you. No, it has killed me before. Stop, 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 stop being negative. Just, just, just stay. Mark! I want you to feel better! Um, killing our village people. Base 10. Him? Look at it. Look at what? Is that not your daughter? This is not my daughter. <laughs> Don't you like this one? <laughs> <laughs> this one is still good though, it's still working. <laughs> what happened is, that time that I go to school, I was not looking at this picture that you showed me here. I did not see this one. Then, and I see this one. It's just standing there. It's like the people that uh, have it. It's like it's them that carry your own. <laughs> so, you just be using this one now. Tomorrow, we'll return it and find your own. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Game over. Come. <laughs> Mark, Mark. Okay, Mark. Fine. Forget about this. Light and let them give you this injection. Just it's not the way it is. Come here. Where are you going to? It's not the way it is. Hold him here. Hold him. 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 Hey! 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 Yes, doctor. What is it? I think the needle broke in his bum bum. Please like and share. Bye bye. Au revoir. May we all share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest in our with us now and forevermore. Amen. You are blessed. You can go in peace. Emanuela, please come. What did we realize from the offering today? 400. 400? Yes. Only? Yes. Hey! What is wrong with these church people? Why is it that they don't like giving? Do they want me to, you know, start playing one or two games for them to start giving? Pastor, no, don't do it like that. Just teach them how to give. Teach them the importance of giving and the disadvantages of not giving. That's a very good point. I think that's what I would do. It's alright, you can go. Thank you. Children of God, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today, I'll be talking about giving. I want people to understand the meaning and the importance of giving because it's very important. Remember, the Bible says, Blessed is the hand that giveth than the one that receiveth. When you want to receive, you have to give. Now let me tell you something. Imagine if someone receives a miracle and the person is here to testify. Now you can give on behalf of that person's miracle to tap from that miracle. Right on, Pastor. It's a principle of giving. Say, I hear you. I hear you, sir. I want you to learn something. When you want to receive heavy, you must give heavily. Right on, Pastor. You cannot be asking God, for one million naira. And you'll be giving an offering of 100 naira. No! Make it heavy. At least make an offering of 100,000. See, it takes sacrifice. When you give and you don't feel it, that means the weight is not enough. See, Israel was fighting against their enemy. But their enemy paid a sacrifice on their gate. The king sacrificed his holy son at their gate and Israelite lost the battle. That is the power of sacrifice. Even God has no choice but to turn his eyes away and Israelite lost that fight. Another thing you should learn is when you see your man of God, when he has preached and preached and preached until he's tired, you should sow a seed into the life of the man of God. 
give unto the man of God so that I can recuperate and have the strength again to keep preaching. Say amen. Amen. See, if at a time that your offering is always 15 naira, stop it. Increase your offering from 15 naira to 200 naira. Amen. Amen. You cannot be stingy for the Lord and you expect the Lord to do something for you. If you're in this church and God blessed you and you don't come here to give God his one-tenth, that means you are robbing God. And if you rob God, man will rob you. Do you want man to rob you? No! So you must never forget to give God his one-tenth. And that being said, we are going straight to our offering. But before that, I need you people to be aware that we are taking four offerings today. The number one offering is our normal offering. Number two offering is for our building project. The number three offering is for the less privileged. Number four is for the seed of healing. Even if you are okay and you feel that you are fine, you should still come and sow the seed of healing to prevent yourself from getting sick. It is called prevention offering. Sister Kenneth, come and lead us in praise songs Why we take our offering. Amen! Amen! Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah! Let's rise up on our feet with our offering. You are God. You are not just ego. You are not just God. Start coming out. Start giving offering. You are God. Number two makes me come into your presence. My helper. My helper. Oh, my helper. My helper. Oh, my helper. There is something that makes me come into your presence. My helper. There is something that makes me. Number three offering. Manuela, come, 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 come. How much did we realize from the offering today? 800,000. Yes! I told you, if you teach them how to give, they will give. Yes, in fact, that's what we're going to be teaching for the whole season. In fact, throughout this year, we'll be teaching giving. <laughs> eh, hey, that's our church corporate account. I will also want to be signatory to that account so that I can be helping the poor. Children of God, praise the Lord! Hallelujah! I have a testimony. Last week Sunday, I prayed for a brother in this church after service. Guess what? As I'm talking to you right now, he's in USA. Wait, 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 wait. That's not just it. Now, he, he, he has decided to appreciate God for what he has done for him. Now he has sent 3 million naira to this church. <laughs> last Sunday. You can tap into this blessing. Come up and give your offering to tap into this blessing. The bigger you give, the bigger you get. Just praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good evening, brethren. I'm actually here to testify the goodness of God upon my life and what God uses our pastor here to do for me. Sometime last year, I bought a land and then I never knew this land was a dispute. So, there was a problem. I came to our pastor and I explained to him and our pastor gave me some prayers and I did all that which he asked me to do. So as I speak to you right now, the land has been given back to me. Oh, Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! I made a pledge to this church. I said, God, 
If you can be able to answer my prayers, I will come back to this altar and before the congregation and give an offering of two million naira. He gave the church two million naira. Oh, that is wonderful. Eh, uh-huh, that man that just finished his building project that promised to send the church three oh, million naira. Okay. He has sent the money. What about that brother that went to USA that promised that when he come back he's going to send us three million? He's back. Has he sent the three million yes, naira? Yes, yes. Oh, that's very good. That's very good. Hey, so what you're going to do now is give him the sum total of everything. Wait, oh, Pastor, you use the church money to buy a car for yourself. No, na Emanuela, don't take it that way. I actually bought this car for the work of God. How? I bought it for the faster spread of the gospel so that I can be able to reach the children of God far and wide. <laughs> okay, oh. Um, Pastor, please, there's something I want to tell you. Um, my last term school fee does not be paid, and the school has been disturbing. And Uncle Max says he does not have money yet, so I don't know if the church will be able to help me pay my last term school fees. Maybe this time Uncle Max will look for money. Hey, what did I just hear you say? I said I want the church to help. No, 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 no. hold it there, hold it there. You mean I should use the money from the church for your personal, for your selfish intention? No, this is blasphemy. In fact. Go inside there and pray for forgiveness. Go and ask God for forgiveness. Eh? Let me go and sanctify my hearing. You've just defied my hearing. Eh? Lord, please have mercy on her. Forgive her. She's just a child. Huh? She, 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 she doesn't understand. Lord, forgive her. Good day, everybody. You know I'm the treasurer and accountant of this church. I want to ask you a question. There's something our pastor is doing that I don't understand. Is it good to withdraw money from church account for your personal use? Because I don't understand. Our pastor here has been withdrawing money from the church account. And now he has bought a car. Latest model. And this suit is wearing. I don't know him with it. I will show it from the church account that he bought this suit. So please, I want to ask. Is it good? Well, um... Pastor... You have just heard from Emanuela about the church account that you've been withdrawing money for your personal use. What do you, how do you, what is your explanation about this? I greet you, my elders. I know um, withdrawing money um, from the church post for my personal use is not a good thing. So I cannot intentionally do that. The truth is that the car I bought, I didn't buy it so that I can satisfy myself. It's for the work of God. Okay, let me give you an example. Ma, imagine you called me at 12 midnight that your child is sick for me to come and take her to the hospital. Will you be patient to be waiting for me to be trekking to your house? Who knows, your child might end up dying. Go for it. You see? Okay, sir. Imagine you called me for prayers that I should come and pray for you in your house and I don't have a car. Would you be happy that I trekked from my house to come and pray for you? Of course, no. Ahem. Wouldn't you be happy to see your man of God dressed neat? Wouldn't you be proud of me as your pastor? Is it not right? You are right. Even that guy I bought, if someone in this church is in the need of money, I can sell the car and help the person. So, it's for the work of God. 
Is there anything wrong with what I have done? My elders, <coughs> for me, I found out that our pastor did not do anything wrong. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because it's for the interest of the church. Oh. We all know that, even in this country, there are pastors who are using private jets. So I don't see any reason why our pastor uh, uh, bought a car. It's a bad thing. And like what he has said, in case somebody is, uh, uh, he, he, he is sick or he need money, he can even sell the car and help the person. Because this is God's work. Well, um, Emanuela, we have listened to the pastor and he has explained to us. And uh, I think what he said is true. Because personally, I would not want to associate myself with a pastor that look that look tattered. A pastor that trek. It will seem like our God is not working in our church. So when you see him dress well, he will attract other members to come. Emanuela, I think uh, the pastor has not done anything wrong. Uh, please, we will work together with him. I think, um, elders, that is it. Thank you very much, my elders. That is why you must open your heart to giving. Amen? Amen. All right. Before our offering, let us give our testimonies. For those of you coming to give your testimony, should come out and line up this way. that he has given us today. Yesterday was my birthday. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord has been good to my life and to all of us in this church. And he has been using this man of God to bless our lives. Church, is it not true? True. So today, our pastor is going to bless the life of some people. <laughs> Auntie, please come. Where's your husband? Sir, please, come out. complain about accommodation issues and you say your children can't go to school because of school fees god has heard your prayers because our pastor here <laughs> wants you to take this car and sell it it's about 20 million naira. use it and set to your family issue <laughs> of this orphanage close to us here and as you all know i'm the treasurer and accountant of this church the money in the church accounts now is four million naira and our pastor has asked me to sign four million naira check <laughs> and give it to this woman to take care of the orphanage <laughs> is for the work of the Lord. Elders, is it not true? That's not all, though. And for completion, please come out. out. This blue shirt you are wearing is the shirt you have been wearing since you started coming to this church. But our pastor here has decided to change your life by giving you this suit that he's putting on right now. <laughs> so elder, please help our pastor to remove his suit and give it to this young man. <laughs> remove his shirt too. <laughs> Oh, okay.
Okay, the singlet is old one. Leave the singlet. <laughs> 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 Thanks for watching that very funny Mackenzie comedy. Please share this video. Share this video, please.